Now, I'd like to share with you a little bit about my life prior to joining the military. From elementary to high school, I had a fairly average life, playing many sports, from basketball to travel ball and club soccer. While in high school, I successfully completed a career pathway of accounting, which I studied for three years. And I was able to pick up many certifications along the way through the County of San Bernardino. And with that, I gained a sports academic scholarship. So at the age of 17, I decided it wasn't enough, and I joined the greatest fighting force I could, the United States Marine Corps. Yeah. Raw. <laughs> During my time in Afghanistan while operating in the Helmand province, my unit, 4th Light Armored Reconnaissance Battalion, and team faced many challenges along the way. From mortar and RPG fire to IEDs and suicide bombers, we were still successfully completed our missions of counterinsurgency south of Marja, and reconnaissance patrols pushing near the Pakistan borderline. Among the dust of everyday life out there, one thing that completely devastated me was the death of our leader and many, and to many Marines, a father figure, Sergeant Major Robert James Cottle. Upon my return home, I assumed everything was fine, but I will later be shocked at the truth of the beast that lurked near me, and in fact, with all of us who had returned. Every day I grew with frustration and anger, but never knowing exactly why. On July 14th, I had fallen off my white horse, which I had worked so hard to stay on. I had unwarily been in a high-speed pursuit, which consisted of six units trying to stop me, but I was lost in my mind at the time. After the dust storm cleared, I found that I had received over five different charges all in one night where I was facing serious prison time. Now, to the best part. The VA and Orange County Combat Veterans Treatment Court has helped me in many ways. The combination of services that they both offer comes second to none. Veterans Court gave me the chance of a lifetime to work on my mental health rather than throwing me in prison where I would still be battling with my issues. With Veterans Court working alongside the VA, I was fortunate to have gone through the following courses to name a few. Mindfulness, cognitive therapy, substance abuse, PTSD courses, and exposure therapy, which they really do work actually. I am very thankful for what Veterans Treatment Court and the VA stand for, and that it's helping those in need, and I was one of them. My grand total for treatment that I've received in the past two years is roughly $55,000, which was provided all by them. As of today, I am finishing up my bachelor's of science degree in audio engineering. I am working with a personal trainer to help lose some Thanksgiving weight, of course, and I am now closer with my family. To the VA, and Judge Lindley, with her team of hard workers that I had the privilege of getting to know, words cannot describe the second chance that you guys gave me. But if I had to, it would be that I'm a lifelong depth of gratitude. 